Maybe. Ah, this is good wood. Good wood. Oh, I probably shouldn't film with these on. Hey guys, it's Panda Man, and I remembered not to walk under a tree while filming myself today. So, today I'm going to be making a catapult since last time with a slingshot. It didn't really shoot that far or that powerful, so I think I gotta make something that'll beat out throwing. So I'm gonna make a catapult that'll be able to lob like four or five at once, and hopefully about as far as you can throw them. So I got the wood right around the corner. So right here, I don't know if this is light enough or what, so I got all the wood laid out that I'm gonna be using. I've got a square that's going to be the base, and then I'm going to 3D print some brackets that go right here and here that will be able to fit this inside of it, and then drill a hole through this, maybe reinforce it somehow because it's a little thin, and then this is going to be the arm. Then up here, I don't have wood for it yet, but I'm going to make a piece that goes up and across, and that's where the tension is going to come from, and I'll be pulling on this. and. You just pull it down, bucket, probably 3D printed right here, filled with four or five water balloons, and then you let it go in the rear ends, pull it forward, and shoot it. So, let's start screwing these together.
so now that I have this thing right here, I've decided that I shouldn't need a 3D printed mount for the axle anymore. I could just drill straight through this. How about subscribers of Panda Man Inventor? Okay, so sorry to my 3D printing subscribers of Panda Man Inventor, but I won't be doing much of that except for the cup. So, we gotta find a drill bit big enough for this thing now. So I finally got the holes drilled in and the axle's in the middle now. That took forever because I don't have the right size drill bit for this, but now I gotta drill one more hole in this so it can swivel and then 3D print the cup and it should be done. So this is pretty sturdy right here, it's not gonna be moving. And then for this I'm gonna have some pieces of wood, scrap wood, just screwed on on either side to the axle so this can't slide around. I don't have enough time to make a 3D printed bucket for this, since... So I don't have enough time to make a 3D printed bucket for this, so I'm just going to be using this and some of these screws with some washers just to hold this flower pot on right here. And that's going to be the new cup. Okay, it's done. Let's see how well this works at getting rid of scraps. I see that's pretty good. So the catapult is all done. We've got it right here. The only things I've added since time lapse were these two little stops right here that keep this in the middle and this cushion for when the arm hits the stop. So first for testing I'm going to use these golf balls because they're probably somewhat similar to water balloons that I'm going to be using. And then I'll switch over to water balloons and we'll start the montage. Tape measure wasn't long enough, but that was 61 feet.
that's working pretty well. It's shooting way farther than my old huge one from last summer. So now I'm going to screw this on the faucet and start filling up some water balloons. This is the first test for the water balloon. What follows is a brief construction montage. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, so that's the end of this video. The catapult is working pretty good. It's way better than my one from last summer. That one was like five times as big. So I might have this in future videos a little bit featuring if I do anything water related. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Like, like it if you liked it, like it, it, subscribe for, for more, more and, and see ya. ya. Oh.